All right, we are in the kitchen with one of our favorites, Captain DJ Corkner with the Knoxville Fire Department. He is here with something he brought back from South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. What is it? It is chutney. Uh, Some uh, chutney. Yeah, yeah, I learned this over in Clemson. And what is chutney? You know, you got me there. It's just, it's uh, this. It's this. <laughs> it's this right it here. You can put it on meat. You can put it on turkey. Some you can put pork, it on it's pork. Man, it's amazing. Yeah, mm, it's it really kind of kicks it up a okay. little bit. So you were so, somewhere where you had it. And yeah, and I asked the lady, I said, what is this? And she said, it's chutney, apricot chutney. And I said, how do you make it? Because it's really good. Okay. And so she gave me the recipe. And, and I'm glad uh, you so call it apricot because Chris Blue calls it apricot. Apricot. Yeah, and he says Nevada. Nevada. And database. Data, data. All right, yeah. oh, what are we doing yeah. here? So, yeah, so you're going to take uh, three and a half cups of apricots, okay. and, and you can find those at any of the stores and, and uh, in cans right now. I don't know how fresh you can find them in the, at, yeah, the at the produce farms. section yeah. or something, but yeah. So, uh, and, and normally they would come pitted, but these are de-pitted, or pitted, I guess you'd say. Um, but you're going to have that. To that, I just went ahead and cut all this up. You're going to have red onion, and the recipe is going to be on the website, okay. right? So red onion, you've got ginger, you've got cumin, you've got coriander, um, and you've got some mustard seed. Uh, this is serrano pepper, uh, some black pepper, ground pepper, some golden raisins, and uh, some brown sugar and salt that you can't see here. Is but it all that's going spicy? Gonna, Wait, what's the uh, yellow stuff? Gonna, <laughs> this right here? Egg? No, 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 no. That is, is ginger. You're making it. That's fresh ginger. ginger. Yeah, okay. so you're just going to slice that. All right, you want to make sure you weren't mm -hmm. putting in dried egg, egg oh, yolk. No, 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 no. Egg no, yolk or dried no. egg? So uh, you, you usually can do this in a bowl, but uh, this is one way Why to do it. Why not do it in a mason jar just when you're in the Just do it in a mason south. jar. Sure. Shake it up, and then you're going to set it in the in the fridge for overnight. That's and, what gets uh, it, right? Yeah, it kind of marinates yeah. and kind of, you know, does its does its thing there. All those flavors and then, fused uh, together. Yeah. So Boy, it is unbelievable when you throw it on some turkey or something. Oh some my gosh, pork yeah. Pork is really yeah. good. Oh yeah. my and, and the next day, uh, you know, like on turkey sandwiches or something, put a little mayonnaise and a little bit of this chutney on there. Shoot. Is that and, what you did? Uh, no, okay. I didn't. I actually, it all got gone. <laughs> I've got There's a pretty no big left. family, so it was all. So you're having to make your own. <laughs> yes, I had to make some more. <laughs> so yeah. Sad. Maybe you can enjoy so. this batch for sure. All right, but you've got some safety tips. Once you just shake it up and then store yeah. it in the Yeah, you just shake fridge. it up. And like okay. I said, you could do it in a bowl or you could do it like this. Okay. So I thought, well, we'll just try it this way since uh, since I, I forgot a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned uh, certainly holiday season, trees. Let's talk about some tree safety. Yeah. If you're going to get a new tray, a new tree or a fresh tree, not the, not the fake ones, uh, you know, one of the things that we recommend is when you get that tree, cut the bottom of it off mm -hmm. uh, because those have been cut probably two, three weeks ago and it, that sap will seal and it won't allow water to oh, okay. soak up into the into the branches and all. Gets dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want yeah. a dry tree. And another thing, whenever you're looking at the tree, you know, take your fingers down down the uh, the needles and and kind of pull on them a little bit. Make sure that they're going to stay. If they start to fall off in your hand, that tree's too dry and it's not one that's going to last you for the season. All right. And you got to water those things. Got to keep keep them watered. And then another thing, a lot of people don't don't know this is if you live in a multiple dwelling apartment complex or if you have a business, you can't have a real tree. Okay. So that's oh, the Grinch part of it. Okay. Yeah. All right, but well you, you, have have a, you have to tell us. You can put a tree up, but it just can't be a real okay. one. Okay. Tree right. safety, chutney, delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming on to make Thank this. You. We appreciate it. You can't beat that combination, tree mm -hmm. safety and chutney. And chutney. <laughs>